Uh, in terms of the scope of this disaster, are the insurance adjusters taking into consideration the price of uh, manpower? You know, like maybe before this happened, you had your house that you were coming to get uh, adjusted, it may be 60 cents a square foot, now it's $2. Are they taking that into consideration? Most adjusters and adjuster companies use uh, the same program, exactly. Um, that program is updated pretty much daily. So uh, whatever the criteria they put in, it's going to be updated. Whenever they put the, the information into what it's going to take to repair, what materials cost, uh, that, that kind of stuff, uh, it, it is updated daily. It's updated with the way things are right now? Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> if, if sheetrock went from $6 a sheet to $10 a sheet, it's, it's going, exactly what it's going to do. It went up to $10 a sheet. And if they went from, you know, Seven dollars an hour, twelve dollars. It's going to go. They're going to put it in. The, the two that point don't accept anything until you know for sure that you can rebuild for what you're being offered. Um, if you have, if you're, if you're fortunate, you have insurance, flood insurance. Um, what we see a lot of times are that the estimates, or the adjustments, come back, and, and, and they take that in consideration. They don't necessarily take it in consideration on the full scale sometimes, and so. What we do is go to bat for our clients against the, not against them, but, but for our clients with the adjusters to say, look, you, you've offered my client you know, X number of dollars. And, and a lot of times it just makes sense. They'll, they'll do a takeoff on the drywall and they may be offering you uh, credit for uh, 133.57 square feet of drywall. I can't go buy 133.57 square feet of drywall. I have to typically buy it in 32 square feet sheets. So, and then, then oftentimes there's waste that's incurred in that. So what we do is we factor that in and we go back for our clients to say, look, here's, here's really what it's going to cost. And here's the labor rates that we're getting multiple bids on. And here are our bids that support that. And here are material costs that support that. So um, if you're doing this yourself, you need to have that type of information to go, you know, to, to, to present to them. But if you have a GC, they should be doing that for you. Um, 